Hello everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Leaf Green. This is the finale. And I have gotten three new team members here. Macargo, Sneasel, and Tyranitar. Macargo is pretty defensive. Although I do wish he could dish out some more power, and he's pretty slow, but what do you expect from a fire slug? So. Sneasel is pretty high on the strength and speed. The unfortunate part is, in this game, uh, the dark types aren't physical, uh, there's no physical dark type move, it's all special, so... It's unfortunate, um, but I do, I, I did give him, well, my Sneasel, or the Never Melt Ice, which will power up the Ice Beam, and Sneasel does have Slash with Sword Stance, so hopefully that'll help. Tyranitar has all attack moves, <laughs> Crunch, Rock Slide, Dragon Claw, Earthquake, and I gave my Tyranitar, the black glasses. And also, Triple Threat's gotten to level 65. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, it's pretty... Yeah, triple Threat's just gotten pretty good in terms of strength. Ross is now level... 64, I gave Ross Sludge Bomb in the process, and also gave it the PP up, that way it could have, he could have more attacks that way, and it's pretty good that way. Shuri, that's crazy, Ross and Shuri have pretty much the same amount of special attack, although Ross has more defenses. Anyway, Shuri, same attacks, but just got leveled up to level 66. Alright, there is two differences with each Elite Four member, except Gary. Um, he has more than two differences. The differences, obviously, um, are, well, I don't know if it's obvious or not, they're stronger. And there's a Pokemon roster change, and it's usually with one Pokemon. Bruno has two changes. Welcome to the Pokemon League. I, Lorelei, of the Elite Four have returned. You know how it goes. No one beats me when it comes to icy Pokemon. Freezing moves are powerful. Your Pokemon will be at the mercy, at my mercy when they're frozen solid. <laughs> ah, are you ready? I certainly am, Lorelei. Now, their level ups, they are now in the level of 60s. This training has taken quite a while, I will go ahead and tell you. I am going to just... I open up with a Frenzy Plant just so I can take him out, and Ross also is going to get that level up, which is incredibly nice. Alright, good, 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 good. Try to learn Solar Beam. Hmm. It's really nice, but that second turn... Yeah, sorry buddy. Alright, Cloyster, I am going to switch to Shuri on this one. Cloyster is very defensive, but like I said earlier, it, last time I did this, Cloyster is good in defense, but not special defense. So Cloyster is just going to get incredibly taken, and just taken out, just by doing that. Alright, Shuri gains a level. And now Shuri's actually higher than any Pokemon Lorelei has. This may seem weird actually, but I am going to switch to Tyranitar against her Lapras. And get the Sand String going. Alright, Lapras comes and... There's the Sandstorm, 
and you get buffed. That's actually the most bizarre thing about Sandstream and Hail and all that in this game. Is that can happen. Oh, nice. There is that Surf right there. Ouch. Doesn't take out Tyranitar, so we're good. I have a feeling that's going to put it in the red, is it not? Yes. So let's throw out a crunch. We've got a power up on the crunch because it's stab, and we also got the black glasses. It's not super effective, though. Well, it's, I didn't need it to be super effective. I got a critical hit. Let's do another crunch. Alright. Makargo gains the experience, so does Tyranitar. Pillows the Pilo Swine. This is her roster change. I know it sounds kinda weird just to say that, but this is the Pokemon she changed for. Pilo Swine is actually kind of a pain. <laughs> Unless it's Shuri. Pilo Swine's just kinda Okay, <laughs> Pilot Swine's not the best Pokemon. I actually would have um, probably had Pilot Swine myself instead of Sneasel if Pilot Swine, if I actually had Earthquake still. But since I didn't, I couldn't take advantage of that ground, and it probably wouldn't have really done much. It it, it probably would not have helped me at all to have that. So, um. Alright, for you. I'm actually going to send out the cargo. Unfortunately, that ice punch was switched for an ice beam, so Jinx is going to have a lot more power coming at me with that. Uh, and it it knows lovely kiss, which is the most annoying thing. So, let's see if I can't pull off. You throw out a Psychic, that's really not cool. Oh, man, really? Uh, Alright. Yes, I have tons of this. <laughs> I made sure before I came. I mean, before I started this, I had a that I had a ton of stuff to mess with in terms of healing. Ew. Yeah, this isn't helping. You know what? Forget it. Let's go, Sneasel. Oh, it didn't work. Unfortunately, Sneasel is gonna get hit. But Sneasel can actually take quite a hit from quite a few hits from Jinx. Uh, slash. That and I'm faster. Alright. A missile not kiss. Uh, I, I really didn't want that, so it's really actually nice to know that I'm not having to deal with that. Uh Is it going to be in... I think I might actually be in range of getting taken out this turn. I think so. We shall see exactly how this is all going to come about, but we... Jinx? Uh-oh. Yep, Jinx is taken out. Uh, Jinx is probably the most... the biggest annoyance in this one. Things shouldn't be this way. I'm sorry, Lorelei. She also gave me a ton of mo money. Alright. You're better than I thought. Go on ahead. You only got a taste of the Pokemon League's power. Alright. Uh, let's do max potions. 
I bought them specifically for the case of healing up after the floods, so. I feel bad Macargo didn't really get to do anything. Alright, there you go, Sneasel. Now, for round two, as it were, I'm gonna have Tyranitar. I wanna see if Tyranitar can lead off against Bruno. I know Ross and Shuri can do it, but I want Tyranitar to be able to do something about this. It's the exact same thing, so I'm not gonna bother reading it, so. Alright. Bruno, while his Pokemon are higher level, as you can see, he has changed his Onyx, and he's changed both of them into Steelix. So. Both of them have Sturdy as their ability, which means just don't use one hit KO moves. You're fine. Because this was before they actually gave a buff to Sturdy. And... Well, you know, I was hoping Tyranitar could actually one-shot, but considering Tyranitar can actually do that much damage... It, it, it's quite something. <laughs> critical hit! How is that a critical hit? That was just a normal hit last time. I'm seeing shenanigans. Hitmonchan, I am gonna switch Hitmonchan out. Oh, switch out for Hitmonchan. And I'm gonna send out Triple Threat. Honestly, as long as it's not Steelix, Triple Threat can deal with this entire team. That's honestly how it is. It's kind of silly. Alright, drill deck. Yep. Oh. Oh, my cargo gotta level up. Triple threat. And gain the experience. Alright, good. Sorry. Uh, no, I'm not gonna change Pokemon. Hit Molly. Alright. Let's do another drill pack. much to write home about this it, it, I still think Bruno is the easiest out of all the Elite Four. And that's funny considering the fact that I'm going to completely and utterly destroy Agatha. Mainly with just one Pokemon. Stop. Anyway. There we go, we take care of Steelix. Bruno. Why? How could I lose? Uh... Easy. My job is done. Go to your next challenge. I will. Sure, he's gonna take care of most of this other team. 
Yeah, same thing, gonna be the exact same thing. And so... For Agatha, she gets Gengar's normal. These Gengar are just kinda crazy. I'll tell you. One, if not both of them, no hypnosis, which is a giant pain. So you want to take them out pretty quickly. All right, what's the right? No, we got. Yeah, Crowback can be annoying as well, but it's not too bad. This Arbok, though. Arbok can actually be quite a threat if you can't take it out quickly. It knows, oddly enough. Oh gosh, I got a low damage roll. Well, Sludge Bomb is one of its attacks. Um, it also knows uh, Earthquake, Giga Drain. I forget the other attack. Um, double team. That's the other one. Alright. And oddly enough, I am faster than a Gengar. That is a higher level than me. Don't know why, but I ain't complaining. Alright, Mysterious is actually a little bit more of a threat. Um, let's just use Triple Threat. Because why not? Drill Deck. Ah, I was hoping I could take out Mysterious in one move. No. Had a little bit more defenses than I want. Oh, no! Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh gosh. And that was just a goof on my end. What was that? <laughs> like, seriously, what was that? Let's switch to something. Uh, <laughs> did you make that kind of a prediction play? That's just crazy. And that's horrid. That horrid amounts of attack. Really? <sighs> I feel terrible. You know, this probably. I should have just sent Tyranitar out. I, I should have just sent Tyranitar out. Oh. <sighs> this is gonna be a thing, isn't it? If I didn't goof up like I did, I think I would have been okay. But I goofed up. Thankfully, Mistravis can't do too much damage to me. But that. oh my gosh. The attraction is just the worst in this game. I forget. Um. I don't remember, I, I want to say it was either Hell Knight or something. 
I want to say it was either round one of the Elite Four. I know I mentioned this before. I think I have anyway. Um, that I had a point where one of my Pokemon, while fighting Lorelei, means Jinx, was paralyzed because of getting hit by Body Slam. Uh, was not only paralyzed, but was also confused and infatuated. Not to say the, not to say the least that, that I was completely unable to do anything. I had to literally use a full restore just to be able to deal with it, and then immediately got paralyzed again. I was kind of upset at that point. <laughs> to say the least. Alright. For the next fight... I guess Tyranitar will be a good first pick. We're having to deal with Lance, so... Not sure. Ah, so you've returned, Cross. I lead the Elite Four. You can call me Lance, the Dragon Trainer. You know that but dragons are mythical Pokémon. They're hard to catch and raise, but their powers are superior. They're virtually indestructible. There's no being clever with them. Well, are you ready to lose? Your League Challenge ends with me, Cross. All right, Lance. He's got a lot of annoyances to deal with. All right, Gyarados. All right. Uh, earthquake. That's gonna be a little bit of a problem. Send a try attack heading Gyarados' way. Gyarados is actually quite a pain, so. Send out Ross to deal with the Kingdra. Kingdra is actually quite a brilliant one as well. Let's. How is Ross faster than Kingdra? This is actually gonna take out Kingdra or not. Uh.
There's not much to say about this, honestly. It's just me trying to take out this king drow. It's just... Grrrrg. Let's just... Uh, there's that ice beam that I wasn't okay with. I guess we have a speed tap. Unless, um, unless I just completely blanked over him using the dragon dance, which is completely possible. Pushing down, he's probably gonna heal raw the, the Kingdra. Oh no, he actually didn't. Yeah, there's the Kingdra getting completely poisoned. All right. Cargo, noise. Ross, Aerodactyl. Uh, I'm hoping. Ice beam. Really? Let's revive Cecil. Unfortunate that all of that happened, but... Isn't as bad as I was thinking it might be. Wow. That's crazy. I don't remember if the whole special defense for rock types apply in this game or not. If not, then I either got a low damage roll or that's really close. I actually... Alright. We got a Dragonite to deal with. Um, more than likely, it's going to be the level 66 one. Oh no, it's the level 72 guy. Ooh. This could be bad. Outrage. I've got good defense, so I think I'm... Yeah, I'm okay. There we go. I don't... I meant to push up. Not do that. Well, I guess the flame body helped me out. Prismberry. Ice Beam. How much damage is this gonna do? Uh, doesn't take out the Dragonite, but it's certainly gonna take it out with the burn. Uh, 
Let's do this. Actually, I totally forgot about the sandstorm, so the sandstorm's gonna take out the Dragonite first, not the burn. Uh, Dragonite. Let's see how terrible this is gonna go. Can I get a really good status element coming out of this, or is this gonna not happen? Uh... Okay. I can actually defeat Dragonite. Well, that's good. Thunder! Ice! No? Okay. Alright, we beat Lance. That's it! I hate to admit it, but you're a Pokémon Master! And... You got all that money. I still can't believe my dragon flossed you across. You are now the Pokémon League Chief. Or I would have said that. But uh, you gotta fight Gary because he beat you. He got it first, even though you beat him. He did it again and got back his title, even though he didn't have to fight you. All right. And let's heal. I guess I actually, thanks to the Reflect, I was able to um, have Triple Threat take out that Dragonite. Alright. I still don't understand why Macargo got completely in destroyed. Um, now, let me think. As far as Gary goes, his team has three different poke, three new Pokemon in it. I think it's three. It's either two or three. I can't remember. Hey, Cross, you came back. <laughs> That's so great. My rival should be strong to keep me sharp. While working on the Pokedex, I looked all over for Pokemon. Not only that, I assembled teams that would beat any Pokemon type. And now, I'm the Pokemon League Champion. Cross, do you know what that means? I'll tell you. I'm the most powerful trainer in the world! Well... He says that, but he's gonna get completely and utterly trashed. Well, hopefully. All right, we're going to go straight for a drill pack against this Heracross because this is going to completely and utterly destroy Heracross. You want to get rid of Heracross pretty quickly because Heracross can actually be a giant pain to deal with. All right, he does have his own Tyranitar, so we do need to do something about that. Um, let's send out Shuri. Alright, that Tyranitar's got Sand Strain. Uh, let's see what Surf does to Tyranitar. Uh, did a good bit of damage. But I'm gonna take a hit here. Ooh. Thankfully. I'm pretty good at defense with Shuri. Let's throw out another Surf to take care of Tyranitar. Uh, 
Alright. Got a little bit. Alakazam. Oh, shoot, no, I ain't dealing with no Alakazam. Alright. Alakazam was buffeted. I'm just going to slash. Really? That didn't do a lot of damage. And because of the Sneasel having the careful nature, <laughs> not a whole lot of damage at all. Let's boost the damage. Shadow Ball. This Alakazam can also be a little bit of a threat if you're not prepared for him, I guess is the best way to put it. But considering I have Sneasel that can completely take a Shadow Ball hit, and it's also a resisted attack, a resisted hit, so... Let's send out Tyranitar. He sends out his Charizard, level 75. Yeah, this is the highest level Pokemon you'll ever fight in this game. It's kind of sad, but it's true. Charizard does have Earthquake, so this could be kind of nasty. Oh my gosh. But Charizard's gonna get completely taken out by the Rock Slide. I have Stab plus Time plus 4 weakness on him, so. Yeah. Executor. Uh, let's see if. Hey, Macargo, you haven't done much, my friend. Thank goodness. <laughs> I was kind of concerned about that sleep powder. And... That was close. Oh. That's weird. Instead of healing Gyarados, he switched out Gyarados. It's... Instead of healing Executor, he just switched out Executor. Um, does Gyarados have any water moves? Probably does, so I'm just going to send out Rouse. Hydro Pump. Yeah. Well, let's do Frenzy Plant. And Frenzy Plant. Really? <laughs> that still didn't take him out. And... Yep. Of course you're going to do that. Hyper Beam? Alright, alright, fine. I'll take the Hyper Beam. I'm not okay with... Oh. Um... 
Gyarados must recharge. Of course. I think I could actually survive. All I gotta do is use Protect. <laughs> the one time where Protect has actually become useful. Oh, come on! Gary! You prick! <sighs> Hyper Bang. Hyper Bang just completely took. You know, this is actually kind of annoying. pull this shenanigans, I'm gonna pull my own. Alright, here's the shenanigans I'm going to pull. Is he gonna just sit there? Hmm. Can this actually do something? Oh my gosh, Gary. <laughs> Will you just stop it? Oh. I wish he did this to Executor, because that actually would have been easier to deal with. Maybe that's why he did it. Hydro pump missed. Yes. Does that mean I can actually take out the Gyarados? <laughs> like the plus five on Gyarados has been annoying. Oh my gosh, no. Oh my gosh, Gary. Gary. Oh my gosh, Gary. W why? Why is this a thing, Gary? Oh gosh. No. Please. Oh gosh, this is so bad. I just wish this wasn't a thing. Of course. Alright. I think he ran out of everything else at this point. What? The actual silliness. I, I, I was about to say something much more <laughs> ridiculous. What in the world?
I mean, honestly, if the sandstorm has to take him out, then fine. Alright. Sneasel, I'm sorry, my friend. Uh, Tyranitar, I'm also extremely sorry at this point. I want to actually see if this is going to be me daisy chaining a bunch of... Well, if that's going to happen, then the answer to that is no. Yeah. This is actually stupid at this point. <laughs> I'm just being honest. This is legitimately dumb. Alright, I'm... C I can't remember if he used all of his, um... Hyper beams or not? He might have. I really don't know at this point. <laughs> oh, gosh. I feel sad that this is what I'm having to do to win the final fight, but, you know, <laughs> I really don't want to have to, like, go through all of this again, and again, and again, and again, just to get this dealt with. And there's no way I'm going to be faster than the Gyarados. There's really not any way I'm going to be faster than the Gyarados. Um... I'm going to... And the reason for that is just simply because of the whole... ...idea of... The, ...all those dragon dances. It's kind of dumb that I was able to get that many off. Yeah, you could try to use not. Oh, you did have more hyper beams. You were hiding those. Oh, craziness. That's not good. Um. Okay, so... <laughs> there we go. Gyarados is down and out. Finally. That took forever. Um... There we go. There was no guarantee I would have been able to, I don't think I would have survived that normally. <laughs> That's so sad that I had to win the final battle doing that, but it's still a win. There we go. No, that can't be! You beat me at my best! After all the work it came to... It, I, all the work to become the leak champ, my reign is already over. Not fair. And this is the second time this happened to you, dude. And again, this is the same thing. But 
Yeah. <laughs> I technically won because, well, actually it was Gary that put it, set it himself up to failure because he's the one that set up the sandstorm. So... He pretty much defeated himself at that point. I wish, honestly, I didn't have to do that, but the, the Gyarados was just taking out everything and I couldn't do anything about it. Alright. Triple threat? Shuri. Macargo. Tyranitar, Sneasel, and Ross. Yay! We're back on the Hall of Fame once again. This is our second time on it. And... Yeah, it is gonna do it again. Okay. We have our little cutscene thing. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know what's wrong with me today. And... That has been Pokemon Leaf Green, everyone. This game, I started it out not quite sure how this was going to go. Uh, there were some of the things that changed uh, throughout the course of this LP, and there was that giant fifth five-month gap. It was more of a prevalent thing than the two or three months that I didn't have Advance Wars 2 going out, so... To finally have this done is really nice, I'll just be completely honest. As for the next game that's actually going to be coming out, uh, um, I'll announce that in a minute. I'll give my thoughts on the whole this game before I do that. <laughs> this game, it's fun. It, it does have its points where it's kind of annoying. Uh, and one of them is what I kind of showed you. It's the whole fact of grinding. It is the worst. They eventually fixed the problem with it. But... Uh, twice before the Elite... Once before the Elite Four, and once before the uh once before the elite four or well, twice before the elite four i had to go out of my way to grind the levels so i could actually stand a chance because there's not enough anyway it, there's just not enough to be able to level up your pokemon in a decent way that is the biggest criticism I have of this game. But this is the remake of the very first Pokemon game, and I grew up playing the very first Pokemon game. So I will say I have enjoyed playing. I, I enjoyed it m probably more than the average person because I grew up with the original game. And it, it's more of a nostalgia trip. And it's really nice seeing everything in a more... In a better graphics. Whether or not they'll ever redo a remake on this, I have no idea. But... We'll see how all that's going to work out. Not quite sure. I know a lot of people are wanting a Diamond and Pearl remake out of... If they remake it, they're going to have to do a serious remake for me to ever like it. Just being honest. I'll get it. I would actually get it, but 
I don't know if I'll ever like it, just being completely honest with you there, because I just could never get used to it. Um, as far as the next LP, I am actually going to be bringing a new Zelda title to this channel. Well, not new, I wish. <laughs> it was Breath of the Wild, but no. Uh, we're going to be actually doing, since uh, it was actually on the Nintendo Wii U shop, uh, I had found it uh, while I was looking at different games that would be on it. Alright, fine, fine. You want to be like that? Fine. Is it going to be like, hey, you can't actually load up and technically never happened? Oh, no. It actually saved it. Which is weird. This is the only save that works. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah, I am going to be bringing a Zelda title from the Wii U eShop. Actually, and it's going to be one that I've heard pretty big negative things about. Um don't know why. Uh, my least favorite Zelda is Wind Waker. Well, that's just me. Um, so, it, give me, I would say, about a week or so to get everything set up for that. And I'll have that new title coming out. It, that new Let's Play coming out of The Legend of Zelda. Uh, once, I'm not quite sure what's going to be done first. Either this game or uh, Star Ocean. So, once Star Ocean is done, I'm going to be putting out the other game uh, that I've been streaming. I've kind of been kind of back and forth about streaming the whole thing just simply because of the whole thing about my work and having to work when it's like up to midnight and all that nonsense so I haven't had too much time to actually be streaming on Twitch but uh, I'll start editing that and putting it up on YouTube but I'm only going to have two Let's Plays. I am not doing three. Because I got other stuff I got to do. And, <laughs> and that was way too much. It, it was honestly way too much to try to keep up with those three. But anyway. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next LP. Most likely Legend of Zelda. That or Star Ocean, however all this is going to work out. See ya.